My wife had an affair. It started last April and lasted until November. She said she had sex with the guy in question on two occasions, late October and early November. We've been married since 2005, together since 2003. We're in our mid-30 seconds and we have two kids together, a four and six-year-old, right now. They're the only thing keeping us together. I first noticed a problem in June. She was talking to an old boyfriend who'd just broken up with his wife. Obviously there were some unresolved feelings between the two. I started feeling uncomfortable in June, but when I brought it up with the wife, she always said it was nothing. In July she visited him a couple of times, but she assured me nothing was happening. I started getting suspicious and snooped through her email finding a couple of emails where he told her what he wanted to do to her. I confronted her about them and she said it was one-sided and she had admonished him. I asked her to stop talking to him, but she insisted nothing was going on and then got mad at me for telling her what to do. She had a lower sex drive than I did, but suddenly over the summer she was insatiable. Sensing something was off, we started going to therapy together. The therapist told us that she was getting attention that I haven't been giving her and she was flattered. The solution, our therapist said, was for me to start giving my wife that attention. So I did. I'd ask about her day. I'd give her more compliments, and I tried giving her more space. I'd always had the kids a lot. I love spending time with them, and I knew that she had a hard time with them. So I took them a lot, out to the movies, to play dates, kept them at home so my wife could go to conferences. Things didn't get better. The guy she was talking to doesn't have anything to do but talk to my wife. So he'd spend hours a day texting, writing emails and chatting. I was at a disadvantage because I have a job. For the month of July and August, I checked our phone bill and she had sent 8,000 texts each month. She was always on her phone. I got more and more frustrated and helpless and that came out in the form of anger. We had fights nearly daily most of them were about her talking to this doucheback. I snooped more and more, looking at her email and text messages. She deleted chat logs and used passwords I didn't know to lock her Skype account. By the time September came around, we weren't having sex at all. She said she thought it was unfair that this guy was flattering her and she was having sex with me. She knew something was off. I asked her if sex with me was cheating on this other guy and she got mad at me. Our therapist told us to take a break for one week each, time away from the family and kids. When we returned, nothing had changed and we were drifting further and further apart. I told her that I considered what she was doing an affair, and by continuing down that road she was breaking our marriage. But still the affair continued. October and November were hell. My contract with work was up for renewal and I was scared that the distractions were affecting my work performance. I felt like I went through a breakup. My wife was gone, off with some other guy. In November she admitted to having phone sex and video sex with him. I left and spent a week at my best friend's house. I remember the two times she cheated. The first time she went to a conference a day early. I brought the family see her, and I could sense something was off. I didn't want to talk to her or look her in the eye. She insisted on a hug and I felt dirty. The second was about two weeks later. I went to a conference and she went to visit him. We had sex a few weeks after that and I could barely maintain an erection. I felt like he was there. I was inside my wife. But he was somehow between us. I told her I felt this way and she didn't say much. She only admitted to cheating a few weeks ago. The guy had come on the day she went early. I left the house and told her things were over. I was away early December for a work trip. I went a few days early to check out the city and get my mind off my problems. I ended up hooking up with two girls on separate occasions. I told women who asked if I was married that my wife cheated and I was single. Yes, technically I cheated without knowing my wife did, but shit was fucked up. You know, when my wife told me that things got physical between her and the douchebag, I told her about my trip. We went to therapy together and she told us to take a month or two off. My wife told my therapist that she loves me and wants to work it out and that she was sorry for how things went down. My friend visited this weekend and said that my wife seems really sad. I'm conflicted to say the least. If there weren't kids, I would have bailed a while ago. Our therapist said that we both brought baggage to the relationship and we should try to fix the problem. We would only repeat our mistakes with the next person if we didn't. She wasn't advocating against breaking up, just fixing the issue. So, with that in mind, I worked at our issues, but I don't know how to get over this. It feels too big of a problem to deal with. She assures me things are over with that idiot, and she wants me to come home. The night I left, I had a friend pick me up. He told me to go out and hook up with some girls, so I made an occupied profile. 
I had a whole bunch of girls contact me and I've set up a few dates. The first is this Wednesday. The girls I'm meeting all seem really cool. They own their own businesses. They've accomplished something in life on their own. They're all super attractive to me. I feel attractive and desired for the first time in a long time. I feel like I'm in high demand and I'm loving it. When faced with the choice of dating a bunch of girls and my cheating wife, the decision doesn't seem very difficult. I know it sounds like I should move on, but I'm an introvert and tend to overanalyze. If I were to have another go with the wife, how do you move on from something like this? I'd sure as hell miss seeing my kids grow up half the time. Do I love my wife? I'm not sure. I feel a lot of hurt and betrayal. It's hard to look at her with loving warmth. The therapist is telling us to take time apart to give ourselves a chance to heal and see if we still love each other after the hurt has passed. I can feel that my wife is making an effort, but it might be too little too late. 